BEAM Research presents 10 Reasons for Performance Measurement in Construction. Ever heard the saying, what you measure is what you get? To put it simply, measurement gives us insight into complex things, allowing us to predict events and then act with precision. We know that reliable structures require precision and predictability in design. Well, the same applies to processes, even ones as complex as construction. You see, a precise, predictable process is a controlled process, and a controlled process produces controlled outcomes. Data collected by BEAM Research indicates that the construction industry would like more control of construction outcomes. It would like projects to be on budget, completed to program, without injury, and with a net zero impact on the environment. We have interpreted this as the four pillars of construction best practice, cost, time, safety, and sustainability. So how well is the industry doing on its four pillars using its current methods? To answer this question, Beam Research compared statistics from commercial building construction with those of other industrial processes. Cost and time variability is expected in construction and covered by healthy contingencies which go to the builder if nothing untoward happens. In contrast, other industries tolerate up to 3% variability and call it an error, not a reward. Looking at safety, the construction industry fatality incidence rate is slightly higher than that of the average across all industries. Still on safety, the industry's injury incidence rate is also worse than average. Finally, evidence is mounting that commercial buildings are our worst contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, more than agriculture, mining, transport, or residential buildings. Our conclusion? The industry has much to gain from radically tighter process control. In fact, if construction went only halfway towards these benchmarks, it would yield every year $600 million in project costs, over 7,000 fewer injured persons, one less life lost to accidents, and the equivalent of 10,000 fewer cars on the road in emissions. And that's all just one more reason for the construction industry to get into performance measurement. Performance measurement is also a tried and tested method for managing people. A lot of the industry's woes are blamed on its vast itinerant workforce. To manage the risk associated with this, the industry often resorts to a top-heavy approach. Performance measurement, if it's well done, has the potential to educate, inspire, and align people without the crushing effect. Performance measurement tools such as benchmarks and indices can radically change the way a whole industry works like it has in the finance industry. For example, let's consider the share price of a company. The take up of this one metric has created stock exchanges, which in turn require brokerage services, derivatives, which enable the practice of hedging, indices and managed funds, which are similar innovations, indirect services, and now technology has made shares almost as common as cash, closing the loop on a whole network of performance information, all from a single metric. Is this a good or a bad thing? Well, there are arguments either way. But perhaps the finance industry would produce more predictable outcomes if it ran on more than just one pillar of best practice, but that's a wholly different story. There are many parallels between the manufacturing and construction processes. Both traditionally use lots of labour, but that has now changed as best practice manufacturing firms like Toyota have adopted extensive process control. What that means is that they define a core in-house process. For a car manufacturer, this might be assemble the chassis, add the components, paint, then add the features. Then they fit many smaller, additional processes to that core process, such as component subassembly and variations to standard models. In contrast, construction breaks up its value chain into product-based chunks, such as concrete, steel, trades and facade. This model makes sense for managing procurement, but it's the gaps between the chunks that create the most risk and unpredictability in the process. As you can see from the illustration, this is why best practice manufacturing firms 
have more controlled outcomes than construction. The fact is, without stringent process control, the cost of mistakes will get a lot worse before it gets better, as the industry experiments with larger components and automation. Luckily, technology can bring performance information to anyone who needs it when they need it. This makes performance measurement cheap and accessible, which the best things in life usually are, right? The industry also has some expertise at performance measurement in a slightly different context. It's common practice to use quantity surveying to ensure a good price. In the same way, performance measurement ensures a good process. The construction industry is quite adept at the first and so is well placed to adopt performance measurement. Finally, online construction industry benchmarking is making its presence felt around the world, like in the United Kingdom, the United States, New Zealand and parts of South America, with great results for those who use it. You have just seen 10 great reasons for performance measurement in the Australian construction industry. So why not let the experts do it at a fraction of the cost and over many more projects than you can? Check out our website for more details on subscriptions and products that can help you think more clearly about construction.